Hello everybody, my name is Kenna McKee and I'm here today to do the Devo. So, um, just thinking about my heart, the title today is How Would You React? And just thinking about how I react in, in little situations and like we have it hasn't been that sunny yet lately and I find it annoying and I'm probably going to upset a lot of people, but I'm sick of the rain. I'm sick of the gloom and I know we need the rain, but I'm sick of it. And that's my heart's attitude, but the rain is a blessing if that's what Lord, the Lord has. And the sunshine is a blessing because I'm sure in September, I'm going to be sick of the sun, you know, and it's just, we're fickle and I'm very self-absorbed. I don't know if any of you are, but sometimes I can get pretty self-absorbed and it's just all about me and what I want. And, um, through a study, we're going through, um, the attributes of the Lord. And right now it's his strength and we're in Job. And I'm sure a lot of you know about Job. And if you don't, um, that's okay. Job is, was a highly, I think highly favored man, um, by God. He was the most faithful and who he is, is his legacy. I think for the most of us who do do know who Job is, it, I think of it as such a legacy. Like the book of Job is just amazing in how he reacts to what God allows to happen to him. I think a lot of us, uh, me personally, a lot of my afflictions are self-induced. I don't think that the, I'm so faithful that the Lord is testing me, you know, um, but that's just my thought not to come down on myself, but just to be honest that a lot of the, you know, circumstances I face mostly are self-induced and a, a consequence or whatnot. But so as I was going through Job, so verses or chapter one and then two, so chapter one, his kids get taken from him and his family and his, um, all of pretty much his possessions, his livestock. And then, um, he doesn't curse God. And so Satan wants to, um, well, of course he, you know, still has his, his health, you know? And, um, so then Satan brings on, uh, the Lord allows the enemy to touch him and create these painful, painful boils on him. And, uh, so Job two verses nine and 10 is where I'm going to go. <clears throat> then his wife said to him, do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. And truly that just brings such heartache to my spirit because so often, how do I react? And it's not like Job and I desire to be more like Job and just what a sweet thing it is for all of eternity. This is his legacy written in the Bible for many generations to read. And so I just want to encourage you, like, how do you react in certain situations? And, and just like Job said, everything is God's. If he, if we're going to accept his blessings, why can't we accept the other stuff too? And so I don't know if that's encouraging, but just a little self, um, a little bit of a, what is the verse? Uh, look into my heart, Psalms, David, create, not created me a new heart. I'm sure some of you are saying it right now, but look, um, uh, I don't know. I'm sure you guys will know, or someone can leave it in the comment. Search me. Oh God, search my heart. It's somewhere in the Psalms. So anyways, um, just because I know we all desire to be closer to the Lord and just to be that well-pleasing aroma to him with our attitudes and our actions. So I'm going to go ahead and close in prayer and I'll see you guys next time. Lord, I just, I thank you that you love me even when I'm selfish, even when I'm um, self-absorbed. Lord, help me to, to be more like you, to love and to just accept all that you have for me in this life, Lord. And I just pray that you encourage my brothers and sisters out there in whatever season they're in, whatever they're going through, Father, just be with them and help us to know our reward is eternity, Father. And this life, uh, like you say, is like a vapor. It's going to come and go so quick. So Lord, I just, I thank you and we love you and we pray in Jesus name. Amen.